Hello everybody, welcome back to another video on the channel and today I have got for you guys the ultimate guide for your racing and car needs in GTA 5 Online. Now this is going to be going through every single class of cars and basically be telling you which are the best ones from each class. So if you want to be hitting those pole positions every single time in your races or you just want to be the best you can be or you just want something new, make sure to check out this video and watch it all the way to the end. This is going to go through every single class of cars from the most common ones in supers and sports to some of the more unconventional types. Note that this will not be featuring any boat or airplane classes because those races are dead, nobody plays them so this is only going over car classes now with all of that out of the way before we begin i'd just like to say if you do enjoy the content make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel as more guide content like this for gta is going to be coming out soon and i do have a discord server go check it out link in the description if you ever need to find people to play with or just to hang out now i hope you guys enjoyed the video let's get into it For the Supers class, I would like to recommend to you the Benefactor Krieger. This car costs $2.875 million on the Legendary's Motorsport website and is probably the best all-rounder supercar in the game. Now, while it may not be the absolute number one fastest while that title goes to the Progen Emirates, that vehicle has got awful handling in comparison, so this is much better at setting good lap times. So, for example, a race where it has a lot of technical sections with a lot of corners and a mix of different straights and corners, you're probably going to want to go with this instead. Now, the Emirates, I would recommend if you're going for drag runs, but overall, for general racing, the Krieger will do the job. It is an absolutely fantastic car, got great handling, great speed, great all-rounder. With all of that out of the way, let's get to the sports class. For the sports class, the best vehicles are the Itali GTO and the Ocelot Pariah. Now, both of these have very similar performance stats. However, the Pariah is slightly faster in terms of its top speed, but the Itali GTO can hold its speed better in the corners for a more technical track. So both of these are very good cars and very good options for the sports class. And nine times out of 10, winning a race between one of these two is mostly down to driver skill over the actual performance because both of them have their positives and negatives, but perform pretty much the same. Both of which are very aesthetically pleasing. They both look very nice and have tons of customization options, have great handling, good top speed, good acceleration, and I believe the Pariah has got one of the fastest top speeds in the game and can even compete alongside some of the supercars in the game. So the Pariah is definitely a good grab, but the Itali GTO is also good if there are a lot of technical sections in our track. Let's get to the next one. For the off-road class, the best vehicles are the BF400 and the Canis Camacho. Now, if you are not using bikes in your race, that is probably the only time you're going to want to use the Camacho over the BF400, but the bikes in general will have an advantage over the larger vehicles just because they're easier to maneuver, you can avoid obstacles easier, and wheeling will give them a speed boost bonus. But Overall, both of these are very good picks for the off-road class. Both have great traction, work well off-road, have great handling, and of course, a great speed. These are probably the fastest vehicles in the class, and I would highly recommend you use either of them for racing. Both will hold their own very well, and to be honest, they're a bit overpowered. Nothing else is really going to be able to come close to them. Let's get on to the next one. For the muscle cars class, the best vehicle for you is the Pissfasser Dominator. This is the same as the normal Dominator except it has a slightly better top speed and I believe the acceleration is buffed up as well. It will cost you 315k but it will be free for you if you are returning from last gen. Now. This car is pretty difficult to handle, but most muscle cars are, and not as in it is tremendously hard, but as in that it will spin out a lot, it's very tail happy, so be careful not, you know, 
powering over too much in the corners or you will easily find yourself spinning out but for the muscle cars class this is the best out of any of them and has the best top speed so especially if you're going for those longer drag runs this is the car you want to be bringing now let's get on to the next class For the compacts class, you're going to want to go ahead and buy the BF Club. It costs 1.28 million on Southern San Andreas and it is a bit of a steep price, but it is worth it because this is the number one in its class. It has got the fastest top speed and very good acceleration and brilliant handling for the class as well. Most vehicles in this class suffer from awful understeer and this car doesn't seem to be affected by it too much. It handles pretty well for itself and it's a nimble little car absolutely worth the price a hundred percent you should buy it let's get on to the next class the fastest car in the sports classics class would be the turismo classic this costs 705k on legendary motorsport has great handling and brilliant speed in general now the cheetah classic has very similar stats to it but has a slightly lower top speed but driving either of these cars are pretty identical it is really up to you but i would personally recommend the turismo classic over the cheetah both of which are great cars and will compete very well in any race that you partake in let's get into the next one fastest open wheel class car or F1 car is the Benefactor BR8. Now this is very expensive at 3.4 million so I wouldn't go splurging your money on this if you don't really have a whole lot but it is a very very fun car to drive. It also has a curse boost which will basically recover boost as you are braking so it's a kinetic energy recovery system so every time you brake it will store up more boost that you can use and you can use this to get a better speed advantage on the straights. It is a very fun car to drive and this is the fastest out of all of the F1 cars but most of them are pretty similar in performance anyway. Do be warned though when using this in races try not to crash too much because if you get rid of some of your uh, uh, wings or you get rid of the splitter or whatever your handling experience will be absolutely awful. You won't be able to drive much it will be awful to handle so just be careful of that. But with that out of the way let's get on to the next class. The best and fastest motorcycle in the game is the Shotaro. Now this is expensive, costing 2.225 mil on Legendary Motorsport, but it is also the fastest. So if you lean forward or lean back while doing it, you will get that motorcycle speed boost and you will fly ahead of the competition. Plus it is really, really cool. I mean, just look at it, it is a Tron bike. What more can I say? This is overall the best motorcycle, but yeah, let's get into the next class. For the sedans class, the fastest by far is the Shafter V12. This car has got brilliant acceleration, great top speed, great handling, and you can also double clutch with it for a good speed boost. Now, this car by far dominates the sedans class, nothing even comes close to it. So if you've got this, you've got a good chance of winning. So there's not much to say about this car. It is pretty cheap and it is very good looking, and I would highly recommend it for its low price of 116K. Now, the armored version does offer some uh, perks as well however it does feel a bit heavier to drive so it is a bit weird going around corners it does feel a bit floaty uh, with the handling but nothing too major it is a still very good solid car and i would highly recommend it if you ever try out the sedans class of racing with all that aside let's get to the next class Based on the Lamborghini Urus, the fastest SUV is the Pegasi Taurus. Now this costs 498k and is very quick and nimble for the SUV's class. Now the handling is pretty decent for an SUV, it doesn't really feel too heavy or anything like that like a normal SUV tends to do. 
and it has surprisingly good acceleration for the class as well. This is by far the fastest in the SUV's class, which isn't brilliant by any other class's standards, but the SUV's class isn't really raced in much anyways. But if you do want to race in that class, this is the best car to choose. The fastest car in the Coupes class is the Ubermax Zion, costing $60,000 on Southern San Andreas. Now, I'll be honest with you, this class is very rarely raced in anymore, so you don't need to go ahead and go out of your way unless you really want this car or you do race in Coupes a lot. But the class has been very neglected since the start of the game and hasn't really had a lot of DLC cars added to this class in a while. But it is very nice looking, it is based off of a BMW M6, I believe and it is also the fastest in the coupes class so if you ever do you find yourself racing in this class this is the fastest car besides that let's get into the next class Another very rare class that you see people racing in is the utility class, but just in case you ever do find yourself racing in it, the Saddler is the best. The Vapid Saddler, you can buy it for as low as 35k on Southern San Andreas, or you can just steal it off of the street. As it, as it is under $100,000, you can just steal it and put it in your garage, so it might be useful to have just in case. But it is very rare you'll see races with this unless it is pre-organized or something with a group of friends. But you never know, it might be useful. It is the fastest. Um, I can't really say it's got a decent speed or anything because it, it's a pickup truck. It's slow. But um, out of the terrible cars that are in the utility class, this is the least worst, if I can put it that way. Besides that, let's get into the next one. In the Vans class, we have the Declass Gang Burrito, costing $65,000. This is the fastest in the Vans class, and for a van, it doesn't handle too awfully. Its speed is pretty average, but out of all of the other vehicles in the Vans section, this is the fastest. Now, that is going to be it for today's lineup for all of the fastest cars updated for 2021 in every single car class. Now, if I didn't miss anything or there are any updates, I will leave a pinned comment down below if there are any changes, like a new car comes out or something. But that is it for today's video. If you did enjoy, do make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And make sure to hit that post notification if you did enjoy the video, because more content like this will be coming soon. Hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.